Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Last time, well, in between last time, I caught everybody. Last time we arrived here, we took down Seymour at long last, and this is the last of the doors here. I've uh, finished all the monster capturing I needed to do off screen, um, and that gets me the level four key sphere. Now, the amount of time it took me with fast forward two times on uh, the entire time there. Uh, it took me about, I'd say, 40 minutes or so to get the vast majority of uh, the stuff done. And I'm going to be running around half drunk trying to figure out uh, where all the uh, hidden hidden things are because they're all over the place. Now, you have to sta spam the button around on this tile and I've been doing it the whole time. You can hear. That's how stupid this tile is. It does not want to activate, and especially coming here for the first time, it's a real dick move to put an item up here, considering chances are you'll try it and still miss it. But anyway, going down is not so bad. But yeah, it's just, it's really difficult to find where you're going uh, to get all the treasures around here. Some of them are pretty easy, like this one, but uh, a lot of them are hidden very well. Um, I'd say it's both a good and a bad thing, since most of the other treasures are hidden so, like, lamely in this game. Most of them are really easy to find. D going to this point and then putting everything behind kind of walls that are hard to figure out. Stop it, stupid camera! Uh, it's just kind of a, kind of abrupt and kind of a different uh, thing there. This one's pretty easy to find as well. This whole area is really weird. What do we got here? Anything useful? Mega elixir. Can't complain with those. Okay, now I want to head down here. How do I get down here? This way? Oh, there we go. Down. Get that one. 20,000. Why do we need gill? We're at the end of the game. Well, we do need gill, but that's only if we plan on doing something that's not part of the end of the game. And we'll head down here. We'll grab this one. We'll take a look at all these things that we're getting in a little bit here. Uh, don't hit the uh, platform yet. They hide another one in here. Nice job of them. Not that we need a defense sphere, but it's there. Uh, we'll use it in the post game. Sure, why not? All right. So, yeah, I took down all of the enemies uh, around here. Captured ten of all of them. Uh, which will make my life uh, quite a bit easier. Ah, there we go. So we are where I think we are. In this one, a whole bunch of these things will pop up at different points. Uh, but the point is, if you go this way, I think you fall down and you end up near a save point. Just kind of remember that that's there uh, for later, because we're going to take uh, this other way. I think it's down this way. There it is. We'll end up on the other side this way. I think we can climb back up if we go the other way, but anyway... We have to climb this way as well. And, yeah, they, they do put a nice icon on the screen to let us know that we can go up at this place or another place. But, uh, kind of weird. We don't do a lot of uh, climbing sections like this in this game. There we go. You see the, um, that's the same spot we saw before. Remember I showed it off on the minimap? If you were looking at the minimap, that's our kind of bridge over here. And if we want to head back, we need to go to the left here. And that takes us out to a different uh, spot. I believe we've already been there. It's just a, a different uh, little section of it there. This is the final save point in the game. So I'm going to make a few adjustments here. Set ourselves up to go in at long last for the final sequence. Uh, we won't be, I don't think we'll be doing any bosses today. But we're just going to get everything set up. We're going to move forward, finish up all of the extra stuff, and then at the start of the next episode, we'll move into the very long finale. Okay, to finish up what I was saying at the start of the episode about the capturing, 
about 40, 45 minutes at two times speed to capture about 90% of the enemies. And then it takes forever to find the ones you're looking for. You spend the entire time running away from enemies. So by the time I was done, it was probably about an hour and a half worth. It's just because the enemies that you want to show up don't seem to show up all that often. I also took more time than I needed to because I was distracted with the football game. And as you can see, I've also balanced out my character's level. So I would only use, say, uh, Waka, Lulu, and Kamari to do a battle where I had to capture somebody and kill them so get the experience because they were so far behind so I caught pretty much everyone up they're all around the same uh, levels now next we have the uh, we got that level 4 key sphere at the start uh, for getting rid of all the stuff now like I said in order to add to our total, we uh, needed to go uh, use or get two more level four keysters by heading out into the uh, into the calm lands or into the monster arena, which would be easier. Find a Chimera brain from the calm lands, uh, bribe him with 196,000 gil, and you should get two level four keysters. Just keep reloading until you happen to get two instead of one, since it'll try and cheese you on that. In my case, I'm going to use the Warp Sphere since that just makes my life easier. Uh, but other than that, uh, where is it? There we go. That way I don't have to waste the actual spheres and it's faster. And we're going to get Ultima. I actually found uh, a spot where I would like to use it. And so we're gonna do that with you. And where is Lulu? Uh, whoever you choose, you can choose either Lulu or uh, Yuna to head over there. Yuna wasn't where she normally is at the end of my grid, so I just sent her there. The final Black Magic Sphere. And there it is. Ultima. So we got Ultima for those two. And the other thing uh, that we should probably take a quick look at here is the weapon choices I have. In order to add some additional challenge to the boss, I'm going to go and choose to use no ultimate weapons, no break damage limit. Um, I might use Bahamut's Overdrive for the killing blow or something like that, just because I built it up and I haven't used it yet. Um, everyone has the same armor, same armor we've had for a while. I happen to get this. It doesn't really matter. If you don't have this, sensor is good. If Aiden counters good. Uh, we got this one as a prize from something or other. That's all right. Um, four on one, by the way, the uh, thing we got there. All elemental strikes. Of course, we could have used this a lot earlier in the game, but I guess it's here now and we don't need it. So, sure. Uh, alchemy weapon, because I have nothing better for you. Sensor, because I have nothing better for you. Back to the weapons we had before with Lulu and Yuna. Um, sensor, because why not? And uh, Brotherhood, just because why the hell not? It doesn't really matter. You're not worried about elemental affinity in, uh, in the upcoming area. The final boss is susceptible to poison and dark, for that matter, uh, as well as a number of other things, which makes it somewhat interesting. Now, I have a few different strategies set up, but we learned that. We want everyone to have the comrade um, overdrive mode. Now, part of my strategy involved not breaking the damage limit, or one of my strategies. So that's one of the reasons why I'm, you know, making sure no one has ultimate weapons. But uh, just to make things a little more difficult as well. Though if the strategy works out the way I expect it to, it's not going to make it, uh, you know, all that much more difficult. All right, so we did that, we got all that stuff out of the way, and we'll make one final save. Let's go finish it up, or at least begin to. This is the point of no return. As soon as you come in here, there's no going back. At least, well, you might be able to walk back from here, but going in the next door, there's no going back. But I just save at the save point and call that the point of no return, be done with it. Don't need that anymore. Can we actually go in? Stop walking up, looking at things, and then making me choose to go for it again. And everyone's most hated room in the entire game. Okay. And press the button on the little eggs, but no, do not get hit by the other dudes there. there we go. We got two of them. If you get hit by the icicles, ooh, you get forced into a battle, and I think you can flee from it? But I, I don't know for sure. Ooh. 
Now what I'm doing is I'm kind of moving to the right a little bit so that I can see where... Uh, there's one back here. I probably won't get it, but no. See, they disappear rather quickly, as do the ice... Ah! You, you crap. So don't move too fast. You don't want to be moving too fast. But you do kind of want to move more to the right so that you have more of a view of the side things on the ground on the left side so that you can get as many of these as possible. Now, I don't know why this room's here. Ooh, it doesn't make... Ah, crap. It doesn't make any sense. But, um... Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it! Aw, oh, come on! This game hates me when it comes to this room. It really does. But yeah, this room makes abso ew, abs absolutely no sense, and me trying to hit the button to get these uh, just never seems to work. Um, it's not random, you get the same ten, ew, same 10 items every single time. Uh, I believe in the same order, even. And as far as I know, none of them are particularly useful. But if you run into the uh, icicles, you do end up in a battle that you uh, would rather not be in. Because, like, you can run into a lot of unique enemies. Uh, there's a land worm. It's another big worm type enemy that, woo, that we've seen before. Uh, I'm not going to get it. Nope. <laughs> uh, and they kind of, you know, they're, they're powerful. They have tons of HP. You can run into three Demonoliths in one battle. Um, can't remember what else you can run into. Come on, I had that! Yeah, the reason why you want to go slow is you don't want to be stuck in those battles. It just takes forever. I can't remember if you can run away or not, but... There we go. One more. Alright, now we'll take... Oh, we'll take a quick look at all of the uh, items there that we've got, save for the last one, since as soon as you get that last one, it triggers something. Uh, so the Dark Proof, Death Proof we got in the uh, dungeon there. This is the last treasure chest we got. It's kind of useless. I've already been finding them. Uh, silence and Stone Strike doesn't really help uh, for Orin there. I think the boss is susceptible to Silence, but I can't remember. Magic Counter we've already got. There's some extra magic stat we don't need. There's some more strength. We already got one of those earlier in the game. Uh, there's one MP cost for Riku if you want it. Death Strike for Lulu, which you're going... You're in the point of no return, and you're facing the final boss. So, why? This is impossibly useful at this point in the game. And you can't save after this. Oh, whatever. One more to go. Where is it? Ooh. There it is. The Hrunting. Oh, I can check out what this is. This is, I believe, for Titus. Woo! More SOS Overdrive! I find those from normal enemies. And if you want proof, there's the other one I got. That's even better. Oh! Oh, I got hit by something. Oh, no. It only says nine, but I managed to beat the whole thing. Okay, sure, whatever. You're supposed to get ten. I think I got ten. It just didn't add the last one or something, but... Oh, well. Now, doesn't that look familiar? And you look familiar, too. And for some reason, they make us walk up to where he is. I don't know why they do that during cutscenes. We don't need to walk up to it. We can't do anything else. But I guess it gives you one last chance to check things out your equipment and all that kind of stuff. You're late, Oren. I know. Hey. There's an awkward reunion huh? for you. <laughs> you got tall, but you're all bones. You eating right, boy? You 
you've really grown. Yeah, but you're still bigger. <laughs> well, I am Sin, you know. That's not funny. Not really. <laughs> well, then, I mean, you know. Let's end this. Dad? Yeah? I hate you. The delivery of many of the lines in here is just really bad. But I don't blame I know, the voice actors because some of them sound, you know, really you well know done. What you have to do. It's just the, you know, the audio compression that they used or yeah. whatever. It just, it really hurts things. I, I can't hear the hymn so well anymore. Pretty soon I'm going to be sin completely. And that's actually strategy that they're giving I'm you right I'm glad there. you're here now. One thing, though. When it starts, I won't be myself anymore. I won't be able to hold myself back. I'm sorry. That's enough! Let's finish this, okay? You're right. Anyway, I'm going to cut off relatively shortly here before we uh, start with the, the next part of the scene too much. So I'm just going to say it now and then we'll cut well, off then. whenever it's ready. Let's go. That's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Huh?